Is 1080p a good enough resolution? Should you buy a 1080p monitor today? Well, I've been using a 27 inch 1080p monitor for the past like three years and I can tell you that. Short answer is yes, it is good enough. I mean, I've been using this one from the last few years and there has been no problem. It's 1080p, 75 hertz. The resolution is fine, but there has been another problem. Even though 1080p seems like a low resolution for a large 27 inch screen, when you keep it a couple of feet away from your face, like a normal monitor should be, it doesn't seem that bad. In fact, I don't see any pixels until I get as close as six inches to that screen. I'm gonna go ahead and say most normal people don't use it like that. I have played some games in the early days to test it out, even though it's it's not a high refresh rate monitor or anything, it handled itself just fine. And I'm not a gamer, my main use case is multimedia and video editing, so for me, colors matter a lot. And in fact, that's one thing I've noticed more than the monitor's refresh rate or the resolution. The one in particular that I'm using, the Lenovo L27M, has mediocre colors. By default, it has a very yellowish tinge, and whenever I connect a new device, I have to calibrate it manually using the device's operating system. And it doesn't have any color calibration settings built into the monitor itself as far as I can tell. It has very rudimentary stuff like brightness, contrast and all that. I want colors like individual RGB settings. And at the moment I can only do that with a device by device basis. And for my use cases like video editing, I don't notice the refresh rate at all. In fact, I use my laptop screen on the side which is a 165Hz refresh screen along with this 75Hz monitor up front, I don't see any difference. Like I said, colors matter a lot more to me than anything else. Every monitor, even basic ones, will be like 75 hertz at least so you shouldn't be worrying about that unless you are like a hardcore gamer in that case you should be looking at gaming oriented monitors obviously there you should be focusing on refresh rate and even there i don't think you need resolution as much 1080p is still fine to game even today and from a gaming perspective having a higher resolution screen would mean your machine has to work with more pixels so it may impact performance a little bit especially if you have a slightly dated hardware if you have the latest stuff you will never worry about that you can even handle a 4k screen but if you're one of those ultra competitive people who want every bit of performance possible you should stick to 1080p and have higher refresh rate so if you're getting like a great deal on a good 1080p monitor you should totally buy it it's completely worth it around 200 to 250 dollar range there are much better options which i will tell you now these are some of the ones that i would buy pretty much the default option i would buy would be this the lg qhd 2k monitor particularly the 27 qn 600 it even has hdr compatibility apparently it's 99% sRGB compliant according to them. It has dual HDMI too so that's useful. I use multiple laptops so it'll be useful for me. And 27 inches in my experience has been the perfect size. It's big enough that you can have a comfortable viewing experience without being overly bulky on your setup. Trust me 27 is the way to go. And don't forget to pair a monitor arm with your monitor which means you'll need a VESA mount compatibility. That has also been a criteria for me to choose these. You may think that it's common you know VESA is a standard mount but you'll be surprised. There are some monitors that don't have it. I have no idea why. Anyway, second one would be this from Samsung. It is also made for creative workflows. It has the same dual HDMI ports, some eye comfort technology and everything built in, and the panel seems good quality. For day-to-day -day use and for creative use, this is great. MSI has a few options too, like this MSI Modern MD272QP. It even has a 65 watt power delivery. That's kind of nice. Unfortunately, it only has one HDMI port, so that's fine. I would stick with the first two options personally but if you're getting some good deal on this maybe it's worth it they do make other options for gamers you know there is this curved monitor with 170 hertz refresh if you're a gamer you should get that but it's not an ips panel again that's not for me but if you're a gamer you probably don't care about color accuracy all too much and if you're in an ultra budget category you can probably check this one out from acer again the price seems a bit too good to be true so you may have to do some more research i'm just pointing out the ones that caught my eye so more research is needed on these. This one in particular doesn't have remarkable brightness or anything, but it's QHD and has power delivery, so maybe it's worth considering as a secondary monitor if you have a two monitor setup. Like if you want two monitors like these, this would be a more budget friendly option. Either way, you tell me, what's the resolution of your monitor screen?